So this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Pisces Moon, and as well Pisces Rising, Weekly Love and Relationship Tarot Reading. <clears throat> December 30th to uh, January 5th, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, guys, in case you want to get in touch with me to uh, schedule a personal reading, you can check out the link down below and uh, or the description down below, excuse me, and there you're going to find a link to my website. And through, through the contact form there, you can get in touch with me for any question you have. So that being said, um, going to the spread here, we do have the Eight of Cups, which stands as the topic and the theme for your love and relationship week, followed by the next one, which stands as the energies which are supporting the topic, that is going to be the Nine of Cups, followed by the third one, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week, that is going to be the um, Empress card, uh, the High Priestess, excuse me. Followed by the uh, fourth one, which is uh, the gifts and the blessings that this week is going to give you in terms of love and relationship. That is going to be the uh, strength. The fifth card represents how other people see you. And uh, this is the most important card. It kind of gives the narrative to the reading here. That is going to be the Ten of Swords. This is how your... Um, friends and family are seeing you, how your person of interest is seeing you, how your partner is seeing you, that is going to be the Ten of Swords. Followed by the other one, the sixth card here, which represents uh, what is going to help your long-term love and relationship goals, and that is going to be the uh, Eight of Pentacles. Followed by the seventh card, which represents uh, what is going to hurt your long-term goal and relationships, that is going to be the Six of Pentacles. And the last card, which is the guidance that Tara is offering to you, Pisces, that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles. Hmm. Okay. So, um, while it seems that you have to answer the call of your soul for that week um, in regards to love, uh, Pisces, especially those who fell in love into someone else, okay? And it's going to be a damn tough week for those people. Anyway, so uh, going with the first couple of cards here, which are the topic, the team, and the energy supporting them. So uh, what these two cards really are saying is that uh, you're going to find your love throughout this week, but it may not be in the place you are looking at or you're looking for it, okay? And wherever you're finding it, it is the place that you have to acknowledge or it is the person that you have to acknowledge, all right? Now, these two cards here are saying a story of a uh, person, meaning you, who is sitting in a, in a situation that may not be exactly satisfiable. It may not be a situation that one hoped for, but a uh, much better perspective it's looming on the horizon much better times are looming on the horizon and one sees that and the only way the only way one can go to those better times the times of love if you will one needs to turn one's back into the current not very satisfiable situation so the energies which are feeding this topic itself are the energies of uh, I would say uh, it's not even hope. How do you say when you, because hope is uh, like gambling, you know, you hope that something is going to be good, but you know that it's going to be good. It is only that you have to traverse that threshold that keeps you um, anchored at that place. Okay, so you know that it's going to be good. It's just you have to give that final push, if you will, to say what you want to say, who you love, you know, or to say what's, um, uh, what you are expecting and so on and so forth. Now, those, uh, those two cards as a topic are a bit difficult to, um, to tackle with. It is uh, because uh, what I said at the start of the reading it is that um, some of you may find out that 
that he loves someone else and not their wife and not their husband, okay? And that needs to be acknowledged. Otherwise, you will start losing the sense of life. You are going to start losing the purpose of being alive. So it's kind of like a week where you have to go toward the person you love rather than to try to deny it or to try to pull yourself out of it. It's that kind of, a, it's such kind of a week. Now, in case you are not in a relationship, then these two cards here points that you have to swallow certain, um, certain behavior, okay? So there are things that you don't like, but regardless of that, you should, you should keep on doing it. Maybe that person disappointed you with something or said something you don't like. Well, you know, that can be overlooked and you should overlook it because uh, a better times are in front of you, um, in front of you both. Now, in both cases, however, uh, it's important to know that this endeavor doesn't stop there at all. Uh, and it will require your further anticipation and your further performance, if you will, into it, if you want to, tra to transform it from a short-term happiness into a long-lasting one. Happiness, I mean, and love as well. Now, the next card here represents the challenge, and that is the High Priestess and the challenge is only one, to follow the needs of your soul or, or the calling of your soul, if you will. So it's kind of like to acknowledge who is your soulmate. I mean, if such thing exists, because soulmates, they do exist, but they don't mean lovers at all or not necessarily, that could be your very best friend. Anyway, so this card represents the bondage of soul. And for one or another reason, you are resisting it and you should not. And the challenge is to just let it happen. Let it, let it, you know, let the, the souls to bond. Uh, that being said, you know, it may be that, um, you know, you have a certain uh, someone around you that wants to be with you, but for one or another reason you don't. Well, that's the challenge to allow the bondage to happen. So the other card here represents the gifts and the blessings, and that will be uh, the strength card. So these are a little bit superficial gifts and blessings. Well, not exactly, but it does depend what kind of an individual you are, Pisces. Now, the, the gifts and the blessings of the strength card, it is the, um, uh, the self-confidence, if you will, that you are doing the right thing. For yourself and uh, this is a, a very strong gift and blessing especially for those who are walking away from a from someone to be with someone else okay so you will have the confidence and uh, as well the, the belief that you are doing the right thing not just for yourself but also for the person that you are living because if you are, you don't love them you are torturing yourself you're torturing them as well because don't think that they don't see that you don't love them anymore or that you don't want to be with them anymore and such kind of relationship is no relationship at all so this is going to be the gift and the blessing this the um the iron will if you will to um to persevere through this uh, through this ordeal because it's kind of an ordeal for you additionally the uh, the gifts and the blessings are a lot of passion uh, that you are that you have in store within you and a lot of enthusiasm as well which are going to uh, give you the initial momentum especially if you have to walk away from someone to be with uh, with someone else now how people are going to see you and that is uh, what i said the um, the key card here. Ten of Swords, people are going to see you unforgiving, people are going to see you uh, determined to do what it takes in order to uh, provoke new dawn into their love and relationship life. People are going to see you as well. Uh, how do you say it? Um, when, when someone has no doubts that they have to do something, determined maybe, okay? Or kind of like readiness to action. And uh, people are gonna see you as a, a person who does not 
have any regrets nor remorse for the actions or decisions that is gonna take that is gonna take or is gonna make as well. So it's kind of like people will see you as an individual who had it up until here and just cannot take it anymore and it's time to do something for oneself and there is nothing wrong with that once again i mean i stand behind the uh the thought that we should not sacrifice our own happiness for the happiness of someone else because if you do allow your happiness to be in the hands of someone else but not in your own personal hands then you are not free but you are a, a slave and once again there is no point torturing um someone else being in a relationship with them with them if you don't love them anymore so the other card here stands as what you can do uh, in order to um, help your long-term love and relationship goal that will be the eight of pentacles so the eight of pentacles it's a very broad card as well it does depend what kind of a state you are but asks you to socialize as well to attend to your masses with a huge amount of conscientiousness as well to have that keen eye for the minor details of how you are going to proceed forward with your current relationship with your future relationship with your personal interest but above everything else it asks you to act there is a certain plan and as it is a long-term goal this is the plan of be loved and of being uh, in a family for example and so on and so forth it's kind of like to have that utopia and this plan can start being initiated throughout the week so you have to start doing something about it or in this case you have to start doing something for yourself in regards to love and relationship and as we saw with the first cards it is to start walking toward the person or the thing that you do love. The other card here, uh, it is uh, what uh, is going to hurt your long-term goals and that is the Six of Pentacles. So uh, it is the card of resignation in this case. It is kind of like being resigned and uh, allow the flow to lead you whatever the flow is going. Um, that being said, it's gonna be, like I said, it's, it, it will be a, a week with a, a tough ordeal because with this card, having it here, you have to swim against the current. I don't like to say it, uh, but for one or another reason, either minor or a big, you have made a wrong decision back in the days and now you have to pull yourself out of it. And that is the week where you are doing it. And uh, one second, guys. And the last card here represents uh, the guidance that Taro is offering to you, Pisces, in regards to love and relationship. That is the Tree of Pentacles. So uh, you have a lot of people to support you throughout this ordeal and uh, you have as well a lot of people to talk into. But above everything else, uh, everybody around you that kind of like shows an emotional connection and shows that they care for you uh, are not going to go easy on you as well in terms of feedback. So they are going to be quite they're going to criticize a lot of your actions, of what you have done in the past, your mistakes. And that is for a solo purpose that you don't repeat the same mistake back again. So instead of looking at it as a, a very um, demoralizing um, criticism, you should look at it as a, a support through your future development. On top of that, with those people who are supporting you, you can have a, a quite severe meaningful conversations, deliberating upon the ocean of opportunities you have in front of you, how to make your future love life happen. Now, it looks like to me, Pisces, that uh, this week it is like a correctional exam for you in regards to love and relationship. It is not way too late to fix what what was done in the past or what you have done or what you have decided back in the days that deprived you from experiencing uh, the ultimate emotional satisfaction and this week it seems that you are gonna start taking the very first step of fixing it so that being said this was your uh, weekly uh, love and relationship tarot reading pisces hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again if you do want to get in touch with me 
uh, you can check the description down below and there you're gonna find my uh, link to my website in which you're gonna see all the services their pricings and the concept form for getting in touch with me so uh, we're gonna see each other again and until then bye